China's KJ-600 early warning aircraft specially designed for aircraft carriers. China's KJ-600 early warning aircraft features special designs enabling it to take off and land on the country's newly commissioned third and most advanced aircraft carrier the Fujian. The KJ-600 again captured public attention after official Chinese media on Friday revealed that the country's third aircraft carrier, the electromagnetic catapults-equipped Fujian, was officially commissioned on Wednesday. A senior developer disclosed in an official media report on Sunday that China's KJ-600 carrier-borne early warning aircraft is nicknamed after Neza, a figure from Chinese mythology. He also elaborated on key technical details, including how the aircraft's radome was maximized to boost its detection range. As an airborne command post, the KJ-600 is primarily responsible for detecting, perceiving, synthesizing and disseminating situational information for the aircraft carrier group. Meanwhile, it also can perform non-combat missions such as maritime search and airspace command and control. To meet the requirement of combat operation, the aircraft features a distinctive design. First, it must be capable of taking off and landing on an aircraft carrier. Compared to conventional land-based transport aircraft, it has a much stronger structural built to withstand catapult launches, arrested landings, and significant overload forces on the deck. Another notable aspect of its appearance is the vertical stabilizers. While traditional aircraft typically have one or two vertical fins, the KJ-600 is equipped with four, providing enhanced tail control capability. As a result, the tail surfaces are designed to be larger. Another distinctive feature of the KJ-600's appearance is its foldable wings. Traditional propeller aircraft typically rely on mechanical control systems. Although the engines are symmetrically positioned, their identical rotational direction during flight causes asymmetric airflow across the left and right wings. To address this issue, the KJ-600 employs fly-by-wire technology, enabling its flight control laws to adapt precisely to varying flight conditions. The flight control laws of the KJ-600 have undergone 11 rounds of assessment by pilots with optimizations in each cycle. Unlike traditional mechanically operated aircraft that require manual compensation during flight, the adoption of fly-by-wire technology allows the control system to automatically correct these deviations within the flight control laws. Therefore, the pilots can feel that the aircraft is easier to fly and the flight quality is very good. China's new KJ-600 early warning aircraft, nicknamed Naja, is designed for operations on the Fujian aircraft carrier, strengthening the Navy's surveillance and command capabilities. Featuring foldable wings, a reinforced airframe and advanced fly-by-wire controls, the aircraft enhances flight stability, operational efficiency and situational awareness providing a major boost for China's carrier-based fleet. The KJ-600 again captured public attention after official Chinese media on Friday revealed that the country's third aircraft carrier, the electromagnetic catapults-equipped Fujian, was officially commissioned on Wednesday. While China's aircraft carrier groups have destroyers and frigates for detection and early warning missions, long-range radars of these vessels face limitations in detecting extremely low-flying sea-skimming targets due to the curvature of the Earth. A key function of carrier-based early warning aircraft is to detect these ultra-low altitude targets. The aircraft was first unveiled as a key component of the Fujian's air wing at China's V-Day military parade held in Beijing on September 3. Fixed-wing early warning aircraft offer significantly longer endurance and can carry larger radars, enabling them to detect sea-skimming targets flying at low altitudes from much greater distances, thereby better ensuring the safety of the carrier group. Another distinctive design feature lies in the KJ-600's vertical tails. While conventional aircraft typically feature either a single or dual vertical tail configuration, the KJ-600 incorporates four vertical tails. This design enhances tail control capability and requires larger control surfaces. To comply with carrier deck and hangar height limitations, the four-tail solution was adopted, which is a technical approach specifically implemented to overcome geometric constraints. The developer further introduced that the aircraft's engine is specifically designed as a carrier-based model, requiring robust corrosion resistance. As a carrier-based aircraft operating on extremely short takeoff and landing pathways, 
it must execute a wave off in the event of mechanical failure or arrested landing mishap. This demands instantaneous power surge capability, with all engine components engineered to withstand intense stresses from catapult launches, arrested landings, and the impact forces of deck landing. Gung Yencheng, head of the First Aircraft Institute under the State-Owned Aviation Industry Corporation of China, said in an interview with the China Central Television on Sunday that the reason why the KJ-600 is nicknamed after NASA is because that with the nacelles of the two engines and the landing gears, together with the nose, the aircraft appears to have three heads like NASA. The two foldable wings, combined with the four vertical tails, resemble NASA's six arms. The circular radome is reminiscent of the Kian Kunquin, a legendary bracelet held by NASA, while the red paintings on the fuselage evoke the Hunchenling, another legendary artifact of NASA. A more vivid feature is the high-speed rotation of the propellers, which resembles the Fengwilin, or wind and fire wheels, under NASA's feet. According to the CCTV news report, as an airborne command post, the carrier-based early warning aircraft is primarily tasked with detecting, sensing, forming, and distributing information on the situational awareness of carrier formations Agung said that the KJ-600 features a large radome, which houses the early warning antennas. To achieve a substantial detection range, the frontal dimensions of the early warning antennas have been maximized. This large radome represents the extreme for an aircraft of this small size, pushing the limits in terms of the aircraft's center of gravity, aerodynamic performance, and controllability. Zhang Xiafeng, a Chinese military affairs expert, explained why a large radome with max-sized antennas is significant. He told the Global Times that the KJ-600 can be described as a force multiplier for carrier-based aircraft in an aviation formation.